12 years that I've been working on, I've dissected at least 100 different characters, the different poses, different sizes. My name is Jason Freeney. I am from New York. I do sculptures of toys, inner anatomies. Mickey Mouse, Hello Kitty, Looney Tunes. I do try to use anatomy of the actual animal it's supposed to be. I like to pick characters that have bizarre shapes to them that are not human because they make the most interesting skeletal systems and anatomies. I don't have any medical background. I study industrial design after the birth of my son, and I worked at an actual traditional toy designing studio. My son, he was very interested in an anatomy. It was through his books that I started looking at how the body works. And I usually will pick characters that I like or characters that my children like. I stay away from human unless the human proportions are very distorted. Let's say like Mario, who is a full grown adult, but his proportions are very childlike. So you end up with this little boy skeleton inside this fully grown man. My favorite one is probably the first one that I did, which was the balloon dog. It started off as illustrations, a balloon dog as a pet, you know, how its bones would work and if this thing was running around, what would give it its shapes. You know, these would make really cool anatomy models. Some of them, you can take them apart like a puzzle. I prefer them to be able to be taken apart, but they're way more complex to manufacture because the plastic cools and it shrinks a little bit. My balloon dog, Gummy Bear, DC characters, Batman, Flash, uh, the Joker, they can be taken apart as well. I will go to the store and uh, buy a pre-made toy, then I will cut it open. Usually I will have to reinforce the toy because once you cut a hole in it, it starts to tilt and move. And I would work in a polymer clay, it's called Sculpey. I could bake it, let it cool. Pieces could take uh, a month, two months. I don't need licensed, at least in the United States, to do any anatomy and make it with my hands. It's considered art. I did a series of large display Lego characters and through a gallery, I think they went for about 17,000 US dollars. A QP was about 10 grand. And I like the anatomy to reflect that it is also a cartoon, as if it was a, a cartoon as well. So I like the outside and the inside to match. It was a, a Lego minifigure. And I remember trying to decide whether I was gonna give them, you know, male genitalia, body parts. Um, and I kind of decided against it because I didn't want to offend. I wanted to respect that it was a child's toy. And, my children, I was showing them what it is that I do, and they always like to stare and they think it's very cool. The fear of anatomy and the fear of bones is a taught and a learned thing because we aren't born scared of what's inside us and I hope that other people agree with me.